Hey, welcome back. So today we're gonna continue to work on um, on upgrades. Um, and um, yeah, actually, first let's start uh, by looking at what we've done uh, last week. So there were two ma two major things that we've done la last week. So f first of all, we've changed the 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 UI in the game. So instead, we had some uh, some basic uh, Unity buttons, and now we have uh, yeah uh, something that looks uh, a little bit better. Uh, this is not the final UI, but it's uh, it looks uh, much better than it was uh, previously. Um, it has the same functionality as it uh, as it did before. So that's one thing, and the other thing that we work on uh, were the infinite levels uh, for the upgrades. So here we have a uh, we have one upgrade which is uh, intended for the tower health. So you'd buy this upgrade, and uh, your ma uh, maximum health for the tower would increase. And what we've done last time, so previously uh, you had those values that you would have to 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 write down, uh, to write here. So you would define uh, levels for the, for the upgrade, and then you had a checkbox uh, to to say if this uh, if this upgrade uh, was infinite. So basically, you would be able to buy it uh, indefinitely. Um, but this was a dummy. This was a dummy checkbox. It didn't do anything. Uh, but right now it does. Um, we have a way of uh, calculating based on the values you've uh, you've written for the. So so you have to to define um, at least I guess three levels for this to work. Uh, for this to work okay. Uh, um, and then, uh, based on those values, uh, I can extrapolate um, the uh, I can extrapolate the values and get uh, get new ones. And uh, what we've done last time is make uh, make a way of visualizing this. So, as you can see, we have uh, the uh, four levels defined here. Uh, and if we open the explorer for this for this upgrade, we're gonna get a view, which looks like this. So based on those values, um, we can see, let's say, now we look right here, and this is level 46, and it has a multiplier of 289. So, uh, and we can also also look at the uh, the initial values. So uh, let's look uh, only at the multiplier. So this is the multiplier, because um, so as you can see here, uh, for each level we have two values. There's a multiplier and there's the cost. So, uh, how much is gonna uh, the upgrade is gonna cost? And uh, we can visualize uh, both of those values here. But we, for now, uh, we're we're only interested in the multiplier. So as you can see, uh, for the first level we have 1.2, and that would be this one. So for level one, 1.2, then 1.32, which is this one, and then 187, which we have in the table. And then 240, uh, 284. So those are the the, the first uh, values, or the 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 only values that we have defined. And based on those values, I'm uh, calculating the next uh, uh, the next points. And uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, this is what we get. So based on those values, we get uh, we get this curve. Uh, as you saw, we also have the we have the cost, so we can pick whichever level we have for the multiplier. So yeah, for when we when you reach level uh, 90, 96, you will have a multiplier of uh, 524, and then you can follow the line down here and um, check out how much is gonna that uh, that uh, upgrade is gonna cost at that level. So yeah, so. Uh, we have those values, and based on that, we we can uh, draw this uh, uh, draw this graph uh, showing exactly how uh, the levels are gonna progress. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, through the levels and uh, what values uh, you'll get.
Um, you can, uh, as you saw, you can uh, change the the scale of the graph, so you can uh, zoom in on uh, on, uh, on 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 the values, uh, both on x and y, and you can also uh, disable uh, uh, the graphs that you don't want. So for this example, it's not really necessary. There there are only two graphs, but uh, uh, we might have um, uh, we'll have uh, multiple uh, places where we will use this uh, this view and uh, there might be more than two uh, graphs shown at the same time so we definitely need a way of um, of disabling them so so you can uh, focus on what uh, what you're looking for okay so yeah so this uh, uh, last time we worked on worked on this ui and today we're going to continue to work on this um so we have a couple of tasks that we're gonna do. Let me bring this up. Okay, so we have four tasks. Um, the first one uh, we're gonna do some polish on this UI and uh, on the on the upgrade definition file. Uh, after that, we're gonna work a bit. So so right now in the game you don't have uh, you don't have a way of uh, buying the upgrades. Uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, the, the the system is in place, but you you can't buy it. So uh, we're gonna add uh, some kind of UI in which uh, in which you can uh, uh, through which you can buy it, you can buy the upgrades. So we can uh, start testing this feature, and we uh, we're gonna actually implement those uh, infinite levels. So even though we have them in the UI, uh, there uh, this uh, uh, the the code that extracts the data is not uh, yet available. Uh, at runtime, so we're gonna work on that. And there is a there is a small bug that we'll have to fix uh, um, uh, later on. It's not that important, uh, but uh, we'll have to to do it uh, today too. But first, we're gonna start with, uh, with this Polish task, and um, yeah, we're gonna work a bit on the on the UI. Okay, so uh, yeah, as I said first, um, one small thing that I wanna I wanna change to UI is uh, right now um, you don't know exactly unless you unless you go with the, with with your mouse and the look uh, that uh, that you, that um, that it's written multiplier here, you don't know which graph um, is associated with the with the buttons above. So what I would like to do is add a like a small dot, which is the same color as the as the dots on the on the curve, so you know exactly how um, which button corresponds to which uh, to which graph. That's uh, that's the first thing that we're gonna do, and then uh, one other one other thing. Here we have multiplier. Um, so this multiplier we use to so you have base values. Let's say the the health has uh, uh, 100 health points, uh, and the, this multiplier we're basically gonna, just going to multiply that value with uh, with whatever uh, we get from here. Uh, this makes sense from um, from the code's perspective. This is the value that I need, but from uh, the level designer's perspective, uh, I think it would be much better to have. Um, uh, to have um, what do you call it? Um, to have a percentage here, as you as you can see, I've I've already added this. So uh, based on the value you, you add here, uh, I'm displaying you uh, on the right um, what this value actually means. So if it's 1.2, that means that the value is going to be increased by 20%. So basically, what what I'm going to do is instead of having this value as a uh, yeah just just to display it uh, you will be you you will be able to actually put this here so you'll you'll have to uh, to write uh, the percentage instead of uh, instead of the multiplier so that's that's what we're gonna do uh, and uh, yeah we have to do this right now because um, we haven't done anything with the with the with the upgrades yet, so uh, it's the perfect timing to change to change change the value because it's not used anywhere. 
Okay, so let's start uh, start with this. So let me start my timer and get OBS back on the screen. Okay, so as I said, uh, we're gonna uh, do that thing on the uh, on the extrapolator explorer, and we're gonna go to the toolbar. So this is the code that generates the toolbar, and what we're interested in is this. So here we are creating a button. We're adding some some text to it, and then um, we we add the the button to the tool. Now here, um, I'm not sure exactly um, if I have a. I think higher, uh, not higher kill. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly. Um, content contain. I think this is what we want. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no. Never mind. We have the the add the, the add method. Uh, so we're gonna create a. Um, think I'm gonna reuse the. Or no. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do do this. We're gonna copy this. Uh, we're gonna add it here. So let's let's see. That's the name. Let's add it here. We're gonna add a dot. And uh, what else do we need? We need this. So we need to, we need to change the um, the color of the dot. So we get we have an array in which you store the colors for each uh, for each graph and which we have the index of the graph so uh, we'll get the the correct color. So now theoretically we should have exactly what we need. Uh, so let's see. Let's go to the upgrade and let's open the explorer and uh, we we have what we need but it looks like shit. So let's see what happened here. Uh, let me get my debugger here. Um, so we've added a dot, uh, but the text has disappeared apparently. Or uh, the thing is, I, I'm not sure. Oh, so so the text is here. Okay, so so it doesn't like that we that we've added this dot. Uh, let's look at the actually no, I can see it here. So what what do we have on? Uh... Okay, so there's nothing interesting. Oh, we have the width. I think that might be the problem. No. I thought maybe because uh, because of the width, the uh, it would uh, make the the button uh, small. Um, happens if I can I delete actually this? No, I can't. Um, whoa, it has a position of absolute. That's not correct. Let's make it relative. Oh, there we go. Now we have something. Uh, that shouldn't be absolute. But at the same time, um, the size of the button shouldn't be determined by this, uh, By dot. So we might have to do something. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to do here. Because as you can see, it doesn't it doesn't like that we've added that, that I've added this uh, this element uh, to the to the button. Um. On the explorer again. And this looks fine to it, but yeah, it, it looks like it's uh... yeah, there's a.
Yeah, I don't know how the how the width is determined. Um, it's not defined in CSS. I don't know how the text uh, ends up in the in the element. There's uh, there seems to be some uh, uh, Unity magic involved here. So I'm not sure how we can add the the the, the thing that I wanted. Uh, maybe we can add a border. Let's see, so so this thing had a border. So maybe uh, add a border to the bottom. It already has a border. It doesn't have. It has this border. I might add border to the bottom with the color of the graph. So uh, yeah, let's try to do that. So instead of having the dot. Uh, actually no, let's keep the the styling for it. So instead of the we're gonna do a button, but instead of background color we're gonna say border uh, border uh, bottom color, which is this. And then let's do uh, the the width as well. So let's say we let's say we're gonna have we're gonna need uh, like maybe three pixels. And let's see how that looks like. Let's close it. Let's open the Explorer again. And here we go. I'm not sure if I like it that much. Maybe make it smaller. Maybe two pixels. Um, Okay, that's that's a little bit better, but uh, yeah, maybe. One thing that I want to do for sure is uh, let's see. I want to the border on the left, I think. Um, yeah, let's see. The border on the left, I want to make zero. I don't like it that the there's a double border between those two. Yeah, that, I guess that looks okay. I mean, it does the job. It doesn't have to be. Uh, no, actually, no. Let's let's put it on the right. I think I want divided between the sliders and the buttons, but on the right of the cost. Here I don't care if we have the that border. I mean I can add it if I want to, and I might actually do that. Yeah okay. Uh yeah actually I'm gonna I'm gonna add it. So um let's see. Actually it's easier to do it on the left. So if index is, um yeah if index is zero. Then it's a one, otherwise it's a zero. Something like this. Yeah, yeah, I guess that would work. Let's try it. Let's open the explorer again, and here we go. We have, uh, we have the borders, but we don't have the double border uh, between the buttons. Okay, now we have a way of uh, of knowing uh, which button is for which graph. Okay. Hello, Mohan. How are you? Yeah, this is nice. Let's make this smaller. Is it? Um, come on. Cool. Okay. One thing down. Uh, let's get to the other one. Uh, let me mark this as uh, as done. So um, add color dot. Uh, actually, I haven't added the, the dot, but we have the color. Okay, so now we have to change the multiplier. Okay, let's see how we can do this. Um, so we have to change here in the upgrade definition, and we we'll have to work with the multiplier. So Hmm. One thing that I want to check is
Yeah, I was wondering if uh, there was um, so so you have suffix label. I was wondering if, if I can add something uh, uh, in front of the in front of the label, but I guess uh, I guess I can't. But that's not a problem. Um, okay, so let's see how 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 we can do that. Um, I'm not sure if I if I should um, keep the the name uh, as multiplier or if I should change it, um, but I, I don't have a better name. Is it not it's not gonna be a multiplier? Um, I might just call it value. So that's that's one thing that I could do. Or percentage. It is a percent. It, it is a percentage, but um, I don't feel like it works uh, in the context of the of the upgrade. Uh, having it uh, called a percentage. I'm not quite sure how how to name it. Um, what I know for sure is I don't need this anymore. There are two places where I've used this. I might eventually have to to change this. What is this? Um, oh, so this is for uh, yeah. So this is the multiplier for the for the enemies for the stats of the enemies. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I'll see about this. Uh, let's let's add a to do here. This and yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, for sure I'm not gonna need this. And in the suffix label, I am going to add a percent sign. And I think I'm gonna keep it uh, as multiplier. I think I'm gonna keep it as multiplier. And uh, the thing that I'm gonna change is here. So get multiplier for level instead of um, this. Is, this is what we're gonna do today. Uh, instead of uh, returning, so where is it? Instead of returning the multiplier as is, I'm gonna because it's not actually the multiplier. I'm gonna divide it by 100. Because uh, percentage, and then I'm gonna add one. Uh, actually, yeah, put an F there just to be sure. So now it's actually gonna return a multiplier. So now we should be okay with this value being. Uh, Yeah, being uh, being a percentage. Uh, let's change the actual. Let's change the label. Uh, label text. Let's see. No, never mind. No, I'm not gonna add it. We're gonna add, uh, we're gonna leave the percentage at the end, uh, and that's it. Uh, one thing uh, that we'll have to change, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see uh, in a second. 
so yeah so this, uh, let's let's open the explorer so so the explorer looks the same because uh, it's the same value doesn't nothing has changed uh but the now here let, let's add the, the, the values as, as they should be so 1.2 um, uh, the multiplier 1.2 it's actually it would be 20 uh, 32 is going to be 32 percent, 87 percent, 87, and this would be 184, 184. So those would be the values as percent. Now uh, we have a problem. So because those values are way bigger than uh, than they were previously, um, our scales in here uh, uh, don't work anymore. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm thinking we might need to have a way of uh, um, redefinition upgrades edit to uh, oh, here. Uh, we might need a way of uh, of um, of saying from from the outside uh, what's the what are the ranges for the for the scale, you know. Because right now they don't uh, they don't actually make sense. So um, we can either change them in here because they are uh, currently they are hard coded. So vertical I can make it like, uh, but it it have to be something like crazy because uh, RAM is thirty. Um, Let's try to make it 100, but I think uh, I think we'd need more, like 500 or something. On the on, the, on what the values on what the values are gonna do. So open the explorer again, and yeah. Actually, it hasn't. No, so never mind. So yeah, I changed the I changed the maximum. Not uh, I need to change the minimum. Which right now the minimum is at one, so I'd have to go below that. So let's try something like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to reopen it. Um, I think I'm going to change this 30 to, but yeah, so I don't know about this. I might change, uh, I might change the scale from, um, from a slider to be a, uh, to be a number in the UI. <laughs> Because that way um, you can do whatever you want. So right now the vertex scale doesn't doesn't make any sense. And like like this when you have the the, the lowest value, um, yeah, might have to change the multiplier. As you can see right here, those those values are are insane. I mean insanely big. So the Make any sense? Um, I mean, they're the same value as before, except they're percentages instead of um, instead of multipliers. Yeah, there's more work to to do on this, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's try to make it uh, 10 times bigger. And uh, let's make this like 10. Let's have a more refined uh, slider. Open Explorer. Yeah, so this doesn't help that much. Because you can see the values. Um, yeah. 
what I'm thinking I might need to add a but I'm, I'm not sure how to do that um, so this is a linear scale I may have to add a logarithmic scale for for showing the data because you don't really care uh, to see the curve you, you you likely need to see to see the value so maybe maybe a logarithmic scale would be better I'm not sure Yeah. Now let's put that back to to that value and just uh, decrease this one. Uh, I might make those. Actually, let's try to make the sliders uh, bigger. Um, sure. I have to change that in the. I have to change this here, I think. Yeah. So right now it's 150 pixels. Let's make it 300. Let's just make I'll just make the slider bigger so so we, uh, we have more room to to change the value. Yeah, like this. Oh, you know what this might be. Um, There might be a value, uh, so let, let's look at the slider. I think there is a... Or maybe here, uh, a value for step. Label start and direction. Page size, what else page size? That's very good that it doesn't tell me what, what the page size is. Why would I need to know, right? What the hell is the page size? Yeah, so what, what I was looking for was... Um, like like a step value what the step value would mean is when you move this thing uh, by how by how much do you do you move it so so what's the because i think the, the value is so small here that is like uh just moving it like by one pixel it's uh it changes it changes the value insanely but uh i don't know yeah, I think it's it's good enough for now. Oh, hello again, Scrum. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I don't know. I'm not uh, I'm not the one in charge of uh, of sales, so I'm not uh, always up to date on on when the sales start and end. So. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Store. Yeah, 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 there is a sale. Yeah, I have no idea. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you're going to enjoy it. How are you? I keep it, uh, I'm gonna keep this like like so. Um, one other thing that I want that I want to change is um, let's see. So yeah, um, whenever you open the explorer, uh, you get um, um, you get you get different colors. For the for the curves, so I'd like to have a because because that's how I wrote. I, I, I every time you open it, I generate new colors. So I think I would like to have at least like um, 
four or five um, uh, colors that never change. So for the for the couple of uh, couple of graphs, and then after that, if if I need more, I could have um, I could have them be generated. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think I want uh, the the first couple of uh, couple of graphs to have uh, different colors, and uh, not not different not different colors, but uh, actually have them be the same. So let's see how we can do this. So and no, actually, let's see where do we define the colors. So here, okay. So we get uh, we get the extrapolators, and then okay. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure how to do this exactly. I might make a, a, a function uh, that that I uh, I can give an index to, and then it's gonna return me a color. So yeah, I might do might do just that. So let's do private static um, color. Uh, Get graph color. Um, oh no, get. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna no get. Yeah, no, it's fine. We're gonna have an int here and index. Here we're gonna. Uh, that doesn't make sense. We're gonna do a switch on the index, and we're gonna have cases for the for a couple of uh, values. So. Do I have color? Uh, I have HSV. I would have liked to have um, from hex to RGB. Okay. Now, first of all, let's see where, where we're gonna get the the colors from. So I know a place with with cute colors. So. Uh, uh, steal them from material design, I think. Let's see. Uh, not the tool. I want the list of colors. Uh, maybe here. Yeah, this might be it. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get some color here. And yeah. Actually, no. I can do it with uh, with color. Um, I think I can do it with color. Okay, let's see. Or actually, uh, uh, let's look at the structure. Maybe there's something here that I that I'm not aware of. But I think, yeah, no, it's uh, it's only uh, it's only RGB. But that doesn't matter. Um, because I think what we can do is okay. So let's say. We want to use this red. We're gonna copy the code. So obviously this doesn't work, but I can do this. I think. And we're gonna divide this by two fifty five. Uh, zero axis divided by two fifty five. And zero x this divided by two fifty five. Oh no, this is even better. I think we have color 32. I think that, yeah, that's a thing. So instead of doing this, I can give it a color directly. I mean, I can give it the hex, uh, the hex directly. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's how we're gonna do it. So let's make a couple, uh, a couple of cases. Let's add, uh, I don't know, one, two, uh, one, two, six colors.
Okay, so we've added the red. Let's get another color. Let's get um, this light blue, maybe. Let's just uh, copy and paste them, and then we're gonna do the 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 formatting later. Let's do a green. Um, let's do an orange. I uh, um try to to mix them so so there are no colors that are similar uh, uh, next to each other. This is the purple. And what other color? What other color? Um, maybe this amber. Um, or um, blue gray. Let's try this. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so now let's do this. Um, let's copy this. Now we have to delete those things, and then we should be good. And one last thing we need to add the default key. And here I'm gonna have I copied that? No, I haven't. So I'm gonna copy the oh, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, this thing. Uh, remove this. Break state is missing. I'm gonna put a break here. Oh, uh, I don't need a break state. My bad. Uh, I can put a return here. And now that I think about it, I can make this to a switch expression. Yeah, that looks much better. And I love the the new version of C sharp. Okay, so now we can replace this with this and we need the uh, the index and we're going to get it from here so now we're going to generate the colors for the for the extrapolators um the first uh six indexes uh we're gonna get uh colors from from this list and then after that if we need more we're gonna generate them randomly but this doesn't look good. What? Uh, okay, so we have an error in the code somewhere. Um, wait. This doesn't work. I was pretty sure I was allowed to do this. I am confused. Let's look at the documentation, but uh pretty sure I was allowed to do this. You're telling me basically I can't use this, but I can put I can create it like this, or what? The the worst thing is that I don't know. Ah, my bad. Um, uh, I haven't read the 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 whole thing. Yeah, it it tells me that I have to say. I have to add the the opacity as well. That's the problem. It doesn't have the opacity. Yeah, now it's now it's fine. So now, after the code is compiled, we should get uh, those first two colors, so a, a red and a blue. There we go. So now, whenever we open the editor, we're gonna get the same the same uh, the same color. For the graphs 
and uh, yeah, in cases where we where we have uh, more than six graphs, uh, we're gonna get a random color. But uh, yeah, this is nice. Okay. So that's another thing that I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, I think we're done with with polishing this. I don't think there's uh, anything else that I that I want to do. Uh, um, and I think we're gonna continue with uh, with the next uh, the next task. So let's finish this. Thirty six minutes. That's that's okay. commit those changes and let's move to the next task. This looks okay. Feature. Actually, let's, let's actually do some, um, some review. So we've changed scale we've changed those colors and we've added the, the border at the bottom okay uh what have we changed in the uss okay so we've made the, the slider bigger upgrade definition we've changed the multiplayer so that was uh, an, an easy change and the, the way we calculate this at the bottom okay and then here we've added a to do for later to actually remove the this function because we shouldn't use it uh, anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's publish this. Cool. So now we can move on to the to the next task. Um, which is uh, the UI for the for the upgrades to be able to to buy the upgrades. Uh, let's close this. Yeah, so we're gonna do the UI for the upgrades. Um, I have no idea how I want this to look like. Uh, we're gonna do something basic anyway. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do like the. the uh, let's call it the real deal right now, in the sense that uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have um, the UI uh, be populated dynamically based on what upgrades we have. I think I'm gonna just add a couple of buttons. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna just uh, add a couple of buttons on the screen uh, just to be able to, to to buy to buy the the thing. Um, I don't think we're gonna do something fancy because I have no idea how that's that that's gonna look like, and I don't want to invest time in this right now because it doesn't uh, doesn't really matter. But yeah, I think I think I'm gonna just add uh, some buttons on the on the screen, uh, maybe um, some text with uh, how much it costs and um, and the, the 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 reward like the the multiplier. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, let's try to do that. Okay, so let's see. Um, we have an icon right here. Um, I'm not actually sure how we can use it. Um. Let's make a let's create empty um uh, let's call it dummy or not dummy um uh, temporary um uh, tower health upgrade okay let's put it on the uh Bottom left corner, 
let's change those pivots. Uh, I want zero on X, and I think I want also zero on Y. Let let's see. Um, let's put it on two D. So it's there. Let's move it to zero zero. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. And now uh, let's look at the at what we have this uh, this thing that. Uh, Let's look at the buttons. Let's see what kind of buttons we have. So the, those are all the buttons that we have. We might use a, a green uh, a green button. Uh, maybe even uh, one like this, like like this uh, long one, because I might have a lot of text. So uh, button rectangle three, it would be uh, the button that we need. And we're gonna just write something above it. So button rectangle. Uh, oh yeah, this one. So let's add this. Damn, that's huge. Um, let's also align it to the. Or no, let's put it at the center. So let's put y on zero. Let's put this on zero. This on zero. Can I change? Uh, no, I don't want to change the height. I want to change the width. Okay, so I can change the width without um, uh, breaking the the image. So apparently, okay. So I make I can make it sliced. Never mind. Or I. Oh no, I can. It just doesn't look. Uh, doesn't look okay if I make it smaller than than its size. Uh, let's make this bigger. So let's say that we want like 400 pixels for this. Uh, let's make the bottom 400 pixels wide. Um, actually, what was the uh, what was the original size of this? 476. Okay. You know what? Um, I'm gonna change it using the. Um, I'm gonna change it using the. We're using the scale, so let's do something like this. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, let's change the uh, the text. Um, by level one, ten coins. We're gonna have something like this. Um, or no. By four ten coins. And then above this, we're gonna have a like some kind of a panel. Um, no presets, uh, prefabs. I think frames is what we want. Not entirely sure. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, maybe something like this above the bottom. Maybe this is this is three. Let's look at four. No, five. No. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one that we want. So what was it? Three. Yeah. So let's see what this is. What's this called? Uh. No, so this is the whole group. Uh, frame list frame zero. Uh, I'm not sure what the S and also the S, uh, something like selected, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um,
yeah we're gonna go with this one so so frame list frame n frame list frame uh, zero n or this oh i guess uh okay never mind so it's so this one let's put it here wait what oh no that is another one okay so i don't want the group i think i want the demo uh i'm looking at line frame i think it was list frame yeah but yeah this is the one but um why don't i have those um why don't i have those separated or do i have to make them myself be that I have to, to make them myself from uh, different parts because as you can see all of those are So weird. Let's just move this to the uh, copy, paste, put it here, get rid of this. And let's see how we can use this. So I want this to be way, way, way higher. Uh, something like this, maybe. Uh, let's put it like this. Uh, uh, let's put a zero here, and zero here, zero here. Let's put it uh, somewhere around here. Let's make this smaller. Can I make this smaller? Yes, I can maybe something like, but that's like oh, way too small um let's try to scale it yeah that doesn't like uh, doesn't look too bad maybe maybe make it a little bit wider something like this okay um yeah, let's change uh, let's change the text so i'm going to change the text the oh so so the text is in the same uh the same component so this would be tower health um add plus something percent to something like this health okay so now all i have to do is cut the button um Not seen uh, assets. Um, I think upgrades manager is what I want, or maybe not. Um, no, this should be the one. I haven't added a way of actually buying the upgrade apparently. So we'll have to add that.
so we are actually saving the the level for each for each upgrade so that that is good but we haven't added a way of actually changing that which is not really a problem but, uh, yeah, so we're, we're only saving the values but not actually changing them so everything's public here I think I'm gonna need a. Okay, uh, so we're gonna need a couple of uh, methods here. So let's add them. So um, public void. Um, by upgrade. By upgrade. Let's call it by upgrade. I'm gonna receive a. An upgrade definition. I actually no. I, I think for now uh, this is only the thing that we're gonna need. Uh, I don't know. So public void um, get upgrade cost. Uh, great. Uh, this is not going to be void. This is going to be float. Maybe no. It's going to be an int because with because uh, coins are in int. So let's see. Um, so return definition dot uh, uh, not multiply. Okay, so we're going to have a similar method to this. And now we have to implement the infinite levels. Ah, uh, no, no, we're not gonna implement it yet. Uh, we need the cost, so we're gonna do a similar method. So get multiplier, no, get cost for level. Um, this is the cost. Um, actually, the cost, yeah, the cost is an int, as I said, so we're gonna make this an int. Uh, I'm actually gonna no. I'm gonna return both the int and uh, so this is gonna be cost and currency currency. Because I'm gonna need both the both the the cost and the the currency, so those uh, those values are should be sent together. So to get um, get cost for level, and the level is data dot dot what so upgrades level. No, let's make a, let's make uh Oh no, we have get a uh, get level for upgrade. Yeah. Get multiplier for upgrade. Get multiplier, get level for upgrade, get multiplier for upgrade. Um, yeah. Let's get the level. I'm gonna add one to this. And yeah, actually I'm gonna return uh that that same um that same tuple um, here as well. If so, uh, right now I only need the the cost. Currency. Okay. And let's implement this as well. So 
upgrade uh, what this gonna be. So I'm gonna need um. Uh, let's add it here. So private economy manager. Get upgrade cost for definition. Um, cost and currency. We're gonna see this. Uh, we're gonna remove currency and we're gonna remove currency cost. We're gonna go to data upgrades level. Um, Wonder if I can add a value, even though you know, I think I have to. Because I either have to add it to the to the uh, to this um, to add a level to this dictionary, or I have to update it. So yeah, I think uh, uh, first I'm gonna check. I have the contains key definition. It contains the key I'm updated. So it would be definition plus plus or add definition with the one. Yeah, like this. So now let's wait. For Compile, uh, we're gonna have a method in here by upgrade with this. Okay. And let's see. Um, yeah, so we, so you click on this. Uh, I'm gonna need a script that's gonna update the cost, and I'm gonna need another script that's gonna update the the text in here. Save this. Um, let's not forget. Uh, let's go to the upgrade manager and assign the economy manager. Also, let's get some. Uh, let's get some more. Okay, so I have one hundred. Uh, let's add more money to the. Let's get more money so we can make more upgrades. Um. What else? What else? Yeah. So I said let's let's make those uh uh those two scripts or maybe no I can actually make a single script that's gonna update this um. Okay, so let's see where do we add this. So I think in the U, I guess. Um, let's also call this temporary because I'm gonna remove this uh, later on. Um, tower health um, UI. Gonna be a mono behavior. Um, what do we need? We're gonna need uh, the reference to the upgrade definition. So, upgrade definition. Uh, let's make this a uh, serialized field. We are going to need. We're gonna make two methods. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah. No, so first we're gonna need. Wait. Uh, 
Uh, why don't I have Mesh Pro? Oh, would it be that? Wait, why don't I have? Oh, yeah. So I need to add. Uh, I have to add a. Uh, where's the code scripts? Uh, assembly definition time. I have to add text mesh pro here. Uh, 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 remove this one. Yeah, text mesh pro. Okay, apply. So I can have access to to the assembly. Uh, f uh, yeah, to the code from my assembly. Yeah, now I have text mesh pro uh, text. Uh, Text mesh pro UGUI, uh, and this is gonna be button, uh, button, and this is gonna be um, let's call it text or a uh, description. Okay, um, private void. Um, I'm going to take and what do I need? So I need first the multiplayer. Um, okay, so I need uh, private uh, upgrade manager. Okay, manager dot uh, get multiplier for upgrade. Uh, yeah, get multiplier for upgrade. Uh, upgrade definition. Uh, one thing that I've uh, so I have get multiplier for stat. Oh, never mind. So, so this is yeah, 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 yeah. Because I can have multiple upgrades for the same stat. Uh, this is for the actual definition. Um, yeah, I know what I what I was looking for. Or what I'm looking at is this gets me um, the multiplier for the current level. Uh, I would like to have the multiplier for the next level. So, I think I'm gonna add int level here and I'm gonna default it to this. I don't think it's gonna let me default it to this though, because it's not a, yeah, it's not a, a constant value. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna add level here. I'm gonna cut this from here. Public flow float. Get multiplier for upgrade. Upgrade definition definition. Return. Get multiplier for upgrade definition and this. So I've just added an uh, an overload. Um, this call is ambiguous. Uh, which call and where here? Yeah, so I use this this method here like this. That that is fair. Um, um, so I have to call it. So so the problem is that uh, the select or the or the function for the select has. Um, so first it gives you the definition. The second parameter is uh, the index. So so the code doesn't know if it should use this, which has only the definition, or if it should use this, uh, where it has the level. Yo, oh, hello, Rusby. How are you? Yeah, sure. I can. I can. Uh, 
Um, I'll show you what uh, what we have right now. Uh, let me see that. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, all the code is compiling, so uh, so we're fine. Okay. So let's see what start. Um, actually, let's just play it. Yeah. So the the the, the whole thing of the the game is. Um, yeah, it's it's basically a, a standard top defense game, except that the um, the the play area is not is not a flat terrain, but is is an actual tower, where uh, where the the path can wrap around it. So as you can see, I mean, I hope you can see those uh, those blue lines. Those are the paths that that the enemies can, and those paths can wrap around the tower and. Uh, they're they're kind of basic, um, but that's uh, that's the uh, the the idea of the game. But in other ways, it's just a uh, it's just a simple tower defense game. Nothing uh, nothing that special. And uh, and one one other thing is. Yeah, so, so right now I was working on the on the upgrades. Um, you'll be able to to upgrade the weapons. Right now we don't have graphics for that. This uh, this circle is a weapon. Um, you'll be able to upgrade your uh, your weapons uh, to make them more powerful. You will have upgrades for them. Um, uh, to like uh, to have a uh, yeah passive. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what upgrades. I don't have to explain to you uh, how upgrades work. Uh, you, you'll be able to upgrade different stats, like uh, like the, the the health tower or the power of the weapons, or um, uh, actually, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else. Um, I I don't remember the list. I have a list of things that you can uh, that you can upgrade. You'll have uh, different upgrades for for different types of weapons. Right now. We only we we have two types of weapons, which is uh, this laser, um, which you can kind of see. So when uh, when an enemy enters the 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 circle, it gets with the laser, and we also have this projectile, which, as the name implies, uh, is gonna shoot projectiles after the after the enemy. Um. But yeah, so the idea is uh, you play a couple of waves. On, so, so you get a tower, you play a couple of waves uh, on the tower, and whenever you, you reach all the, you, you finish all the waves for, for this tower, you, you have two options. You can either continue to the next level. So you'll, uh, there's gonna be a button that's gonna appear on the screen somewhere, and you, you'll be able to press it and uh, go to the next level. Or you can keep uh, playing on the same uh, uh, on the same level, and uh, the waves are gonna just start. Uh, they're just gonna start to repeat and uh, just get um, uh, uh, more difficult uh, with uh, with uh, with each uh, yeah with with each. Wave. Um, so you'll be able to grind at a at a lower level where you don't have um, maybe like. Uh, some some types of of enemies only like maybe you you wanna you wanna grind at the first uh, the first level where, where you're gonna have like only one type of enemy but uh, even though you're, even though you're grinding the 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 difficulty is uh, is gonna increase with with uh, each wave if you decide to to go to the next level and unlock new content maybe new enemies or new weapons or stuff like that, um what's gonna happen is so this is this is your tower right now. Uh, when you when you go to the next level, the tower is gonna expand. So you're gonna uh, the, yeah you're gonna basically get a new the tower is gonna increase and you're gonna get a new piece of the tower to to play on the the the, the part of the tower where you've uh, played previously is gonna become unavailable to you uh, and you're gonna get a new a new piece of the tower to to, to play on with uh, different different paths and different uh, let's say opportunities but 
right now the state of the game is is this. So yeah, so we have we have enemies. They look shit because they're just some red spheres. Um, but they work. We have weapons. Uh, they look like shit because we don't have graphics for them. Um, but we have basically almost all the functionality that we all the functionality that we that we need for the game. Um, right now I'm working on the um, so so we had the functionality for for the for the upgrades. I said that uh, we also want to because we have those. Uh, so, so as I was saying previously, uh, you can grind at a, at a certain level. So because of that. Theoretically, you can play indefinitely on that level. So, uh, what we want to do uh, some uh, some of the of the upgrades that uh, that you can buy. Um, we're gonna put them uh, so they are uh, so they have infinite levels. You'll be able to. Uh, so, so we are gonna find a couple of levels, and then the game is the game is gonna decide um, uh, what. The next levels uh, should be for that upgrade. How much is gonna cost and uh, what bonuses it's gonna get. And that's what I'm working on uh, right now. Um, and after that, uh, I don't know what other features we we need to add. I mean, we need to polish this like hell. Uh, there's a lot of things to polish, and we need to make the the actual content. But uh, mechanics-wise, there's not a lot of stuff left to do. I mean, there are the other type of enemies and stuff like that, but uh, I think I consider that part of the um, part of the con uh, of the content. Expense downward. I mean, it's gonna expand in some way. Uh, so on top of the tower, you're gonna uh, actually let's make this more clear. So right now, how the how the game uh, works is let's go to the tower. Uh, exit to the mode. So the tower right now. Uh, is made of uh, those modules, which are pieces of the tower, a small pieces of the tower that are that st uh, stack together and create the tower itself. And when I say the tower is going to expand, basically we're going to just uh, add more modules to it. So the, the, this functionality already exists, but it's not exposed in the in the game. So I have this uh, dandy little a little. File that I can call. So let's say I want another five modules on this tower. Boom, there we go. I have another five modules on the tower. And the the previous path is, is just uh, going to work uh, perfectly with the, with, the, with the ones above. So they, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, they, they continue perfectly. Um, from one to the other, and now theoretically, this is uh, this is uh, this is gonna be the new part of the tower that I'm gonna that I'm gonna play on. We're not gonna let you play on the on the previous part of the tower because it would be hard to manage all the yeah with with each with each level having it become uh, more tall. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to manage, and also think about the performance because I have to. It's gonna be hard on our performance. Maybe not on a PC, but if we want to launch sometime the game on mobile or something, uh, it's gonna be hard to optimize that. Even I don't, I'm not sure if, I, if even if we can make it. Um, but no. So maybe let's say right now, right now the tower is manageable. It doesn't have that many pieces, but uh, let's say I'm I'm gonna add 20 more. So I'm at level what uh, five? Yeah, this now is not manageable. Having to go up and down on this tower, yeah, that's not gonna, <laughs> that's not gonna be fun.
Yeah, but, but the idea, the thing is, the tower can uh, can grow indefinitely. So even the tower would be infinite because after you finish all the predefined levels that we've made, you can continue to play the game. There's not going to be new content, but the difficulty the difficulty is going to increase. So, yeah, no, I think. Yeah, but even with a minimap, it's not going to work. Because if, even with a minimap, how much can you zoom out to make sense of what's happening? Yeah, no, I think I think it, it would be hard to manage uh, laying on a on a tower this big. I'm not sure how how tall the the tower is gonna be for each level. We haven't decided that. Uh, I'm not sure even if the the size of the modules right now it's gonna be the the size that we're gonna use in the game uh, when we launch it. Um, but uh, yeah, for now it works. Um, but yeah, no, I think probably something like uh, I don't know the, the the size that we that we start with right now. That's probably gonna be the size that uh, that we're gonna use the game as well. So this is gonna be all your prey area. Maybe one two modules uh, bigger, but I think yeah, probably a bit bigger, but uh, probably not more than this. Not not a lot more than this. Or maybe because. Yeah, you you you're not gonna have access to to the to the to the last uh, uh, piece of the tower that you that you're gonna receive with the with the level. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think this is everything that I can show you in the game. Um, there's not more, uh, nothing else I can show you. We have a fast forward button. And you have a cooldown after each wave, with a button to skip the cooldown, but uh, nothing else. But yeah, well, as I said, mechanic-wise, uh, we almost have everything uh, uh, constructed. We just have to uh, combine everything together. Okay, so. Back to the upgrades. Let's see where we where we left off. Yeah, the uh, yeah, the upgrades and the enemies. Yes, exactly. And the weapons, I guess. Um, but yeah. Okay, so upgrades manager. Uh, portal update definition. Let's add the text. So this is for the description, and this is for the button. Okay. Um, let's close everything. So I'm gonna get the multiplayer. Um. Get level. Upgrade. What upgrade? This upgrade. Oh no! Actually, let's add plus one here. Plus, not equal. Okay, so this is the multiplier, and I also want the cost. Get upgrade cost uh, definition. Um, let's call definition. Upgrade definition and actually that's it. And I want the cost. And I want I don't want the currency. So now let's update this. So but button text is gonna be. 
by four however many cost coins and description text is gonna be let's copy the text that that it's already in here and we're gonna modify it so paste this uh and add a slash in here like so so tower health i don't care about the color here we're gonna add a multiplayer in some way um Multiplier as percentage. So we're gonna get a multiplier. We're gonna, but uh, no, let's subtract one and multiply it by 100. Let's add it here, um, like so, and F0. So we don't have any anything after the, the dot. Um, let's also call this. So um, let's uh, call it on start, and we're gonna have to to call it uh, somehow after we do an upgrade. There we go. Buy for two coins plus thirty two percent to the max health. Um, let's go here. Um, uh, yeah, so that 32%. Where does that come from? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, this one. Never mind. Uh, ah. Yeah, 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 I know why. I think I have the first level set in here. No, I don't. What? Why do I get the second level? I'm confused. Uh, what? Um, upgrades manager. This is empty, so why do I get the second level? Wait. What? Oh yeah, this is the yeah, that does make uh I need to track one from this. Because level one uh, is at uh, at index zero. Or actually, let's add it here. And the same to this one. Okay, goddammit, let's make a... Okay, let's try it again. We should get 20% here now. And one coin. Hey, there we go. That's that's it. So now let's look at the let's see. Upgrade manager. So now if I click on this, there we go. I have level one for this. And I, uh, there's one coin removed from here. If I click it again, I should have a seven at the end because the, the next time it, uh, it costs two coins. There you go. Yeah, so this works. So I can buy, and this is updating here. So I can buy upgrade and, uh, uh the, the coins are subtracted. Looks like it's working fine. Uh, but we have to upgrade the UI. Uh, we have to update the UI, yeah. Um, let's uh, move this a little bit uh, up. 
something like this, yeah. Um, yeah, I have to update the UI after uh, after an upgrade is made. Um, I think I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna add an event here, so let's add it uh, be the first thing here. So public, public event action uh, system action. Uh, let's send the redefinition. Uh, on upgrade. Um, book with definition. So now if I go back here and say, go to the manager, go to this, and add uh, this method here. Actually, no. Um, yeah. God damn it. I misspelled this. Uh, Read bot. Okay. Definition. If uh, definition equal to our upgrade definition, we're gonna return. Otherwise, we're gonna update the text. This uh, here, let's update this or clear this on reset. Okay, what else? What else? Actually, I think this is everything. Yeah, I, I think this is all. Yeah, let's try it now. Uh, let's change the text in the button to also have dots instead of um, the number of coins. Also, this change to use uh, localization, but um, hey, there we go. Oh. Yeah, no, this this, uh, this makes sense. So now, because we haven't implemented, uh, we've, we haven't actually implemented infinite levels, uh, I don't get the next level in because of the of the minimum minimum here. Even though I'm I'm asking for a higher level, uh, I can go past the, the I can go past this, which is actually nice. But now we have to change that because we have the technology. Um, to calculate the next levels. So, let's see how we can do this. Um, no, this is going to be private. Um, I'm gonna say extrapolator. Um, multiplier and cost. Uh, no, private. Here, let's see what do we do. If 
is infinite and it doesn't have extrapolators set up. Uh, one of these is true. Multiplier dot get uh, uh, no. Uh, we're gonna create a new extrapolator with with some values. But now, what values? So actually, no. Let's do it like this. So levels. Um, I'm gonna select level dot. Uh, I said this is for multiplayer, so like this. Do the same for cost. Uh, what's wrong? Oh yeah, because this is um. Let's make this a float. I should probably make extrapolators work with both uh, ints and floats. Uh, but yeah, now I'm gonna cast it as float. Um. So let's see how do we do this here. So we have the level. So we're gonna have um, so if it's infinite. Oh no! Um, if it's not infinite, and actually let's copy this. And level is bigger than or like this and let's do this uh, bigger or equal to the to the length of the levels here I'm gonna throw an error uh, go new uh, ah, got it. new system exception or no uh the of range Level are defined in yeah, like so. And now here, um, let's do. We have to do this. Return. Multiplayer extrapolator. Oh, um, I don't care if it's infinite or not. I'm still gonna use extrapolators, I think. Or should I? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's okay to use. Yeah, sure. Uh, get value at level minus one. So that should be it. And let's do the same for the cost. Um, actually, let's do it uh, below this. Yeah, here, so that's the, that's gonna be the cost, and I'm gonna just currency from the first level. Like so, and I'm gonna uh, make this an int. Actually, I don't think I can do it like that. Uh, look int. Okay, let's try it now. Now we should be able to get past the the, the third uh, the third level. Oh, and now that I think about it, let's also put a level in here. Um, tower health. Uh, level. Level, level, next level.
this should be most extrapolator. And also this value should be uh, so sub no divide by 100f and add 1f. There's an error. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, God damn it. Ah, I hate this. Um, yeah. So this, uh, this is a scriptable script. So those references are gone. Um, uh, when the 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 main is refreshed, uh, except for this value, which is not. Um, how do we uh, solve this? Um. I mean, I can make this. I think maybe if I do this. This should be fine. Let's try it. Okay, now it's fine. Let's try to buy. A go. So now I can just buy, buy more levels and then I get like, uh, like, like this, uh, huge multiplayer. That is nice. So now we have, uh, we have uh, a way of buying upgrades and uh, the upgrades are actually infinite. Or they are infinite if you choose to say that they're infinite. Uh, um, you can buy them. You can know when to update the UI for it. Also, now that I think about it, uh, I have a string here that I should use most probably. Um, I have to see how I can do that. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be for the for the full UI, not this. Actually, use the 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 name of the level, not this uh, string that I put right now. But yeah, it works for the intended purpose. Uh, so I'm gonna put like this for now. So you can buy. Let's see if it actually works. So so it it asks for. 100 coins, so um, we're gonna get 4 9 here instead of the 5 0 5 0. Yep, it subtracted 100 coins. Nice, so it works, uh, it works as expected. You can change those values if you want to. Let's say I come here and I say, okay, so 20, then we do 25, then we do uh, 35, then we do 50. Let's see how this looks. This looks like it is exponential, and it is actually exponential. Cool. But now it it uh, rises much more. Uh, actually, it's not that. Uh, yeah. So twenty thirty. Yeah. This wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. The percentage is not right. Of course, it's not right. 
Ah. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is not this is not the way to do it. Um may have to store those extrapolators somewhere else or um but that's that that's the thing uh, that's the thing that I don't like I could make the upgrade definition instead of being a simple scriptable object I can make it a um I can make it make it a service but that doesn't Oh, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. So now it's upgrades manager in the in here in reset. I'm gonna say upgrades, uh, let's do for each. extrapolators um, actually this might not be the ideal solution but it is gonna work um, and actually let's make this uh, let's make this and also let's make those not be properties we don't need them to be properties actually and it actually that I think that just works come on should work fine now. So when I play 20, yeah, 25, 35, 50, and then it goes up. Uh, let's change the value. Let's put a 45 here. That just makes a, a quick drop. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's save this, let's play, and let's see if we have those new values. 25, 35, 45, yeah. And now we go to the to negative numbers, which is not correct, but that's not a valid way of setting up those values. 30, and now it's exponential again. And it's more aggressive now. now. Um, 36 it might uh, not be that aggressive yeah let's see level 81 um, I mean anyway yeah that's a that's a big percentage it's gonna be interesting to balance Okay. Um Yeah, I think we're done with this. Um I don't think there's anything uh to do uh for this for this task. Cuz the idea of the task was to implement well, actually, actually, I, I had this split into two, but uh, yeah, I guess I've done both of them at the same time. So I was supposed to do the, which was this thing, and then 
continue with the infinite levels. But I guess I've done both at the same time, so uh, we're kind of done with, with both of them. I might actually hook this up to to the power health component, just because uh, we finished so so quick with this. I think I'm gonna do that. So. Uh, what I would like to do is to actually hook this uh, this value, this multiplier that we have here, to the to the um, to the health of the tower. Yeah, as you said. So let's try to do that. Um, somewhere in here, in uh, in this folder, we have yeah here, health. We have the tower health component, and in here, uh, let's see. Uh, um, our health data. So this is the data we have. Oh, we have a reference to the upgrades manager. That is amazing. What we can do with this is here we can hook onto the uh, uh, data dot upgrades manager dot on upgrade bot. So when we an upgrade, what we're gonna do is um. Yeah, let's make a, a method here. Oh yeah, so if definition dot stat link is not equal to d dot health stat, we're just gonna return because we don't care. But if it is the same stat, uh, what we're going to do is um, actually basically do this, but not exactly. So copy this and just remove whatever we don't need. So we need the, the max health, the base health, and multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, that's what. So we're gonna get a multiplier for the stat, for the for the health stat. We're gonna multiply the base health by that and save it in the max health and also update the UI in case we um, write a value somewhere. So yeah, I guess that is it. Uh, also let's clean up after ourselves. So let's say on destroy, let's remove this. And now that should be it. Um, one other thing that I would like to do is, um, let's see, on the on the on the on this uh, on the on the health bar, I would like to have a tower health. I like, I, I would like to have a text. So let's do that. Uh, UI text mesh pro. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, let's see what uh, what font are we using for let's say the weights maybe? A lot of regular. Let's use the same uh, the same font. A lot of regular. Uh, let's make it smaller. Let's put it where it's supposed to be which is on the center, like so. Let's say zero out of zero. Let's make it smaller. Uh, let's make, let's say 20 pixels maybe. Also uh, vertically centered, please. Like so, yeah. And um, let's see. Um, let's all add a localized string here and game ui and uh, tower no yeah health yeah that's the one so this is the tower health uh, i'm going to change the text though to remove the the text from from before and only have this also let's add some spaces in here like this let's see this 
Uh, let's make this a little bit uh, bigger. Actually, no, let's make this smaller. Let's put this at 30 pixels. Let's make this wider. Something around here, so 350. That's fine. And let's play the game. And it doesn't work. Uh, why doesn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't work because I haven't hooked uh, the localized string component to the actual text. So it doesn't know how to update the text. This text save. So now when we play, yeah, we get 100 out of 100. And when we do this, there we go. Our health stays the same. Oh, now I'm not taking damage, but our uh, max health is increasing with each uh, with each upgrade that we, that we buy, which is sweet, sweet. Cool. We've actually done uh, done a done a, a quite a cool thing. Nice. Let's close this because we don't need the colors anymore. Um, yeah, I think I th think we're actually done with this uh, with this feature uh, at least for now. We're gonna come back to to the to the upgrades when we're gonna do the let's call it the real UI for it. But uh, right now we only have one upgrade, so we're gonna keep this uh, this thing in here. Um, uh, and actually that's kind of all that we need to do for the upgrades. As I said, the, the, me the mechanics are there, uh, but we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to do the content and create the actual object that we're going to have in the game. And then we can actually do the UI because we're going to have, uh, multiple upgrades and we will be able to work with them. But yeah, um, this is actually nice. Um, what's happening here? Oh yeah. Okay. So let's stop the timer for this and commit the change. The commit those changes, and then we can move on to uh, the next one, which is actually a small thing. Um, Feature and let's also include this. As we've uh, also have done as well. Um, no, there's one thing that I want to change. I don't know where it is. I think it's in here, maybe. Yeah, this. I'm gonna remove this. And write it like this. Let's see if it still works. It should, because there was only there were only two references that that method. Yep, still works. Cool. Ah, oh, goddamn it! It got rid of my my message. Uh -huh. Actually, do I have it saved? No, because I copied that other stupid thing. Got it. Feature and this and then this one. No. Feature a feature like so. Okay. And I think we're done. Let's publish this. Please, please, please. Thank you. Uh, let me add a comment to to this task and say done in 105 wait no what is it this is 104 not 105 my bad 104 yep okay so let's close this as well and now the only thing that that's left to do for today is this uh, this bug that I've uh, noticed uh, uh, last stream. So um, let's recap a bit. So uh, we have uh, in the game we have a feature uh, in which 
uh, when you play, you can speed up the time. The, or the yeah, the speed of the game. Uh, yeah, let's uh, try to see those enemies again. There you go. So we have the enemies, and they are kind of slow. But then you can press this button and make them go faster. Uh, this is for the enemies, but uh, there's one thing that, or actually two places where I've um, where I haven't uh, used this uh, this uh, functionality, and both of those places uh, happen to be on the weapons. So uh, the first place is. Actually, let me start the, for the task because uh, we're actually going to get into it right now. So the first place is, uh, where are my weapons? So let's go to the laser. Uh, no, actually, let's go to the projector because that's easier to, to understand. Um, yeah, so we have the, so this is the projector and um, for the projectile for the projectile weapon projectile attack i guess and um uh, here uh, um we are moving the yeah this is actually that correct to do it using lerps but uh, it's good enough for now uh the thing is um uh, we are moving from our current position closer to the target position but uh, this delta time uh, should also be multiplied by the game, not only by this uh, thing that I've used for uh, making it faster. So here, um, uh, let me actually let's get here. Uh, yeah, this, so this is the game speed manager, uh, and this just says okay. So when the game is on fast, which is like uh, we have double arrows here. Everything should uh, be three times faster. So what we have to do is here multiply this by 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 the by the value that we have defined. It's as simple as that. So what I was thinking last stream was maybe instead of having this delta time here, maybe I can get let's call it a special delta time, uh, which pre-multiplied with this value. So where the game is on fast. I'm gonna get the delta time, which is pre pretty multiplied with this uh, with this multiple. Um, so yeah, we're gonna uh, go to this projectile. So uh, yeah, so this is the first uh, the first uh, uh, place where we need to to change things. So this delta time, and also for the laser. So this is used for for changing the position. And that's okay. And for the laser, uh, it's a little bit uh, different because instead of a position yeah it's the damage that we have to to increase because for the laser we actually we're, we're actually applying damage to to the enemy whenever he's inside the radius so if the game is sped up we should apply more damage because um, basically the uh, because the the, the, the enemy Faster, it's gonna stay uh, less time in our in our in the radius of the weapon, so that that will be bigger, so that uh, so the in the end it's gonna be uh, the the damage value is gonna be equal. Uh, um, uh, uh, how do you... uh, regardless of uh, of the game speed, yeah. And also here, uh, as you can see, it's also a delta time. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, in the uh, no game speed manager. So in the game speed manager, I'm gonna have a method that's gonna return me the delta time pre-multiplied with the uh, fast speed multiplier. So as you can see, I already have the speed multiplier here. Public float. We're gonna get the delta time, which is gonna be time dot delta time multiplied by speed uh, multiplier. So it's simple as that. So now, in let's say our laser attack, uh, let's put that in the data. We have the damage, we have the enemy detector, and we're gonna have a reference to 
uh, to the game speed manager and let's put it in the internal tab let's, let's copy this because we're going to need it later and now in the laser attack instead of getting the delta time from the time class itself we're going to go to the game speed manager and get the delta time from here okay so this is the laser let's actually do some cleanup in here because there are some uh, things left off. Okay. And now let's do this for, for projectiles as well. So um, again, um, let's add reference to the game speed manager. And here where we use the delta time, instead of this, we're gonna use game speed manager dot delta time. And now all we have to do is uh, assign those references. So first projectile, let's go to objects, weapons, dummy projectile here. So this one, um, wait. Oh, uh, never mind. we're in playing uh, play mode. So the code uh, was not compiled. So let's wait for it to compile and here we go. Game speed manager. Let's assign it and save. And here's the other weapon, which is the laser. And let's add the reference here as well. So it would be on a laser attack and it would be in the internal tab like so. Save and that's it. So now, um, I don't think it's easy to see. Uh, I think it's easier to see with a projectile attack. I mean, it, it's not easy to see, but the thing is that we know it's it's actually happening. Um, okay, we have an error. This doesn't work. What's happening here? Why don't we have health? What is going on here? Wait, what? No, no, that's a slider. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, I don't know what's happening here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, we won't be able to see this um, very easily. Actually, no, we can see this. Uh, one way to see this is uh, we go to the game speed manager and we make this insanely fast. So instead of three, let a ten. And actually, actually, I haven't even pressed the button, so we can't see the difference. So they go like this. And now uh, let's skip over this. And we haven't got anyone going through here. It's amazing. Come on, at least one. I need at least one. What the hell is going on? Why Why isn't anyone coming through here? Let's put a uh, project weapon right at the start. Yeah. Uh, so you can see them for like barely a second. So the, the, the projectiles are there, but uh, they're barely, you can barely see them. They're so yeah, the they're moving faster now when the when the fast mode is active, which is nice. Uh, but let's go back to to our uh, our uh, health here and see. Um, apparently, our has disappeared for some reason. I don't know why that was like so. Now it works. Okay, that is weird. Now uh, it works as, as expected. Let's try to play again. Okay, I don't know what happened there? Why? Why it lost the reference? Um, but anyway, now it works. Um, and that bug is solved. Let's uh, stop the task. Let's commit those changes.
this is a fix. And let's see what we change. Those two prefabs, the game speed measure, because we've added the tilt at time. Those two, here I've added the reference, and here uh, I changed the code, and also here I've used the delta time. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. Awesome. Okay, so theoretically we've uh, done everything that I've planned for this week. Uh, I was not expecting uh, this uh, uh, infinite levels thingy to to go uh, to go so fast. I think I have I have anything left in the backlog, and it doesn't even work. Let me refresh the page. Yeah, this doesn't matter right now. AOE doesn't really matter. Uh, optimized uh, prefabs. Actually, I don't care about this. Actually, I'm gonna remove this because it's no longer um, necessary. Yeah, let's delete this. And this bug is not really important right now. It might not be even. Uh, relevant to the final game yeah i don't think i yeah i don't have anything else planned for for this week so we're probably gonna end the stream here i have no idea what else to work on so um, i can do like uh, something real quick um i have no idea what else to to work on i have to <sighs> To do some planning and uh, see what else is there to to do, but uh, I'm gonna do that uh, off. -chain. Yeah, so I think uh, I think we're gonna stop the the stream here, and uh, we're gonna continue continue working on the game uh, next week. Um, on I don't know what, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find something to work on uh, next time. Um, probably maybe we can work on powers, so you'll be able as a user. Be, oh, wait a minute. You'll be able to um, use the powers and kill the enemies. Uh, maybe we can work on that. Uh, what else is there? Oh, maybe we can work, and that might be better actually. Maybe we can work on um, part of uh, of the tower experience. So you'll be able to to go to the next level. That's an interesting part. Um, we almost have everything for that to work because we have the tower expanding. After you expand the tower, uh, the enemies are actually uh, starting from the new piece uh, the, the, uh, from the new piece of the tower. You yeah, almost have everything. But there are there are a couple of things that we we need to to change uh, or create to to make that happen. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're probably gonna work on uh, next time. Think about it, being being able to to expand the tower. Yeah, I think that that's the that's the thing, that's the main thing that we're gonna work on. And uh, I don't know what else. Uh, as I said, I have to do some some more planning in here. And expand this uh, this thing a little bit further, and see what else is there to do. But yeah, for now uh, we're gonna leave it like like this. So, just a small recap what we've done today. Uh, we've done some polish on on the things that we've worked on uh, last stream, uh, which is small things. So here for the for the upgrade definition. The multiplier right now is is a percentage. Uh, previously, it was a it, it it was just a float. It was the name uh, implies it was a multiplier, but it's better to have them as uh, percentages for the level designers, and it's also uh, actually easier to understand. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah, in the explorer for the for the infinite levels, we've messed a bit with the vertical scale. We've changed the ranges for it. We've added colors for the buttons, so you know which button corresponds to which um, to which curve. 
And yeah, all the colors are now not random, or at least the first six graphs that you that you can that you display on this uh, on this uh, explorer are not gonna have random colors, but uh, the colors are gonna be uh, predefined, just so that uh, whenever you open it, it's the same. It looks the same. Okay, uh, and after that we work on the infinite levels. So we've added this uh, new UI where you can um, buy uh, the tower health uh, upgrade. And this increases your max health. So right now we have the max health of the tower is 100. If I buy this, uh, let me make this. If I buy this upgrade, uh, I'm gonna add 20% to my, to my max health. So and uh, and it costs one coin so when i press this yeah it's subtracted one coin and now i have 120 uh, max health instead of 100 so it's as expected and as you can see on the right we only have four levels defined but if i click on this button so this is the last level i have level four when i click on this i actually get, get the next level that is not defined in the list so I can just clear, uh, keep on playing and get a new, uh, get new levels that are uh, automatically generated. And yeah, that's kind of it. That's what we've uh, worked on uh, this stream. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for being here, and hope I see you next stream uh, when we're gonna work on uh, on the tower expansion part, and we're gonna finish that. So um, see you next time and uh, have a great day.